Greetings munchkins and viewers alike, it's me Munchie and welcome back to the channel. Today is going to be a Night Angel discussion haul because there's new items out on the market and let's just have a friendly hamster, gerbil, and mouse discussion because this is what I basically bought. Those are the type of animals that may be able to use some of these. So let's first start by talking about, I guess maybe this one. Now you guys remember I did the toilet stand from Night Angel and I was very curious to know exactly how well this is and how dusty it is. Now with any sort of sand bath you guys are always going to have at least some sort of particle dust. Whether it be very irritating or non-irritating, Night Angel has claimed that this is safe for the use with hamsters. And the other one that I tried out which was just sand had pumice in it where a lot of people did not think that was safe, but I guess it also depends on the amount of pumice. And the quality, I would assume, has a lot of importance in how much they wash it, shift it, etc. So I'm gonna be one of those people that, like I said in that video, I'm going to have you guys try it out. Not just me, but you guys. And let's just have a conversation down below in the comments what you thought of it if you've been recently trying it. I actually don't mind this because guess what guys I tried it out and there's not really an ammonia smell afterwards which is like the reason why I actually want to switch to something that controls ammonia while also being safe to use but this is a non clumping formula but guess what I found right after I purchased this one I found the other one and it's clumping <laughs> So let's talk about clumping because a lot of the times when you hear the words clumping when it's being referred to as bedding or litter for small animals is usually an impact yikes where if something happens whether they digest it or if they like have it stuck around their bum bum and it clumps and it doesn't let go that's a really big problem and it could cause more harm to the animal than good but Night Angel claims that this is completely safe and I do want to test it now if whether or not I'm going to purchase this again, it's just up in the air. Because if it's the same quality as this toilet sand that I have tested out, then I want to see if the clumping is safe enough so that even though it might hold a shape, it will not stick to your bum bum or get impacted if they choose to eat it. Now, that's another thing too with this is that I have seen hamsters for the first time trying out sand, they will like to put it in their mouth and kind of grind on it. You guys have probably seen that too. I've seen comments on hamster forums going, my hamster is eating the sand. Usually you might see this at the very beginning. I would say observe to make sure that they're not just constantly doing it every time they go into the sand, but that is something that a lot of people may experience. They may just stuff it in their mouths and it makes me a little scared to be trying this. But again, I'm gonna go with what Night Angel thinks is appropriate and try this out at least for just this bag. And we'll try a quality test here at the very end too to see if there's a difference. But this one claims odor and moisture absorbent, removes oils and keeps fluffy, and then easy to clump. So now let's talk about the other end of the hamster, which is the mouth and drink. Because now we have the Night Angel drinking cup. Night Angel actually posted about this on their own Instagram. Whoever runs that Instagram, you're so sweet, by the way. They actually got their very first review on this and someone claimed that this can make their hamster drown. Do you, I, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to flip you off. But do you guys, I'm not, I'm, that's not my intention. I just realized the middle finger is so long and so handy. You see what I mean? Handy. <laughs> but this right here is a very shallow drinking cup and you can, you cannot, you cannot drown in here. You can put a few pennies in here, but you're not going to have a hamster drown. Now with traditional food bowls or water bowls for dwarf hamsters especially, I have been worried about people using bowls because if they scurry around and then they don't really realize there's water there and they try to jump over it or get over it, they submerge themselves in water and it's not good. You don't want them to have any sort of temperature drop suddenly because they can go into shock. So this right here is great to use for those bowl users because you can easily see and clean this around the rim here and it's just it's very shallow the thing is you're gonna have to change this out daily but a lot of people do anyways but the downside to 
water bowls is you have to constantly change it out because they're gonna be dragon bedding in it. It's gonna get filthier. And I personally do like bottles versus bowls. And this right here, I think is a nice addition to the market and it comes in three different colors. So I chose this color, but no hamster's gonna drown in this. Uh -uh. So with that out of the way, we are mainly going to be talking about wheels now because in the hidden section of this video, which you do not see that I'm twirling my hands around, we I got one, two, three, four. Can you give me some more? <laughs> one, a two, a three, and a four, which is actually very clear. So let's start off with the bottom one, which I really wish you guys could see. So I guess I'll just place them up here. See, my camera lens is not a very wide angle, so you cannot really see what's going on below me, but I'm hoping that if I do like this camera enough, I will invest in a better lens. But hopefully now you guys can all see all of the wheels beside me. So let's start with the smallest ones, which is the eight inch wheels. But let's talk about this one first. This one looks exactly like the exotic nutrition silent spinner nine inch wheel. And the difference will probably shock you, but I'll save that for a different video because <laughs> I would like to visually compare these in a separate video so we don't spend forever just talking here. But I got the purple one because this is <laughs> the best color. I love purple. If you guys haven't already noticed of my channel and of my rescue that I founded and managed, I purple dyes everything. Purple dyes? I don't know what I just said there. But anyways, I love this so much. These are so big. They look like little clouds and it's nice and wide but it is an eight inch wheel. So unfortunately not gonna be for Syrian hamsters. Dwarf hamsters, yes. Big fat chunky dwarf hamsters like the Jungarian winter whites. Yes, definitely gonna fit. And then of course mice, but no gerbils because this plastic is easy to chew. But the base, this is like the best wheel stand design Oh my gosh, Night Angel, you can literally adjust how high and low you want it. And that's great for when you want the sand to be low, but your bedding is high. So you gotta raise the wheel in order to make sure that it's not just getting stuck down here in the bedding or that it's become the city of buried Atlantis in your hamster's enclosure. Everything is just so solid. And the way they package these wheels is incredible. You do such a good job, Night Angel, with your shipping. Wow, 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 wow. If you guys think that you want to make a one and done deal investment one of these wheels that I'm gonna show today is gonna to be a one and done deal. One of which is more of a universal wheel, but just wanna show that to you. This one is the eight inch one and it's at the highest point because this is actually one of the gerbil wheels. And yes, you heard me right. This is a gerbil wheel because the material is gerbil proof. You will not be getting a gerbil chewing up this type of plastic and it's really thick plastic. It's very thick, hard plastic. So comparing these two right here, you can kind of see flimsy plastic, not so great. This one's smooth. It does have some ridges in here, but this is just so great for like chew proof wheels. This style of wheel is like the universal wheel at the rescue. We are going to be switching to this type. So gerbils, mice, dwarves, but not Syrian hamsters can fit inside of this wheel. This is a nice eight inch wheel as well. I just love it. I, I know the color is pink. I'm not really a pink person, even though I have like one item that I've been wearing like crazy that's pink, but that's because it's Game Grumps. Second, I have a pink chair, but that's because my roommate gave it to me when I had my roommate. <laughs> and my roommate was moving out, so I took it. I had a really old blue chair, all right? It had to go. And so, yes, this is pink right here. But I think this one might've been donated and or I purchased this one. I can't remember at this point, but people have donated the wheels at the rescue. And I thank you for those of you who have considered and or donated in the past towards the rescue because these wheels are just incredible. Oh my gosh. And this is what I've basically been referring all of our adoption inquiries to when they don't have a complete setup yet. Or they said, oh, all I just need is the wheel. I just want some referrals. <laughs> these two, but yeah, I got two pink wheels like side by side. But this, as you can see here, eight inch versus 10 inch. Now the 10 inch, I do want to make a note. It's not a true 10 inch. They say it's 10 inch, but it's only 10 inch right here because the problem with this wheel is that it curves inward. So it's actually more of a nine point something something wheel. I think it's 9.5. So depending on if you want to measure from the very back inside of here or the very front, which I typically will measure the very front, it's an 
9 to a 10 inch wheel. If the internet wants to just destroy each other over the difference of like a 0.5 inch wheel, go ahead. Syrians definitely can fit inside of here. But if you got the bigger ones, I would highly recommend the 11 point whatever the heck this one's called. Maybe it's 11.6 or 11.3 inch wheel. This is for your big boys, your sassy girls, your big lumptuous ladies, big lumptuous ladies, big lumptuous ladies, because of the meat threat school. I've actually been watching the scary game squad on Jesse Cox's channel and oh my god I just I love Resident Evil Village. I love what they've done with like bringing it all back. Now I I won't get into video games, but I'm just I'm just saying definitely something to check out if you're a fan. But this right here, do you hear it? No. And I don't hear it either. Now the only downside is that this wheel is super slippery. I actually don't recommend this wheel for Roboroskis. They have smaller sizes, like small, medium, and large, but I wouldn't even recommend this type because it's way too slick. You're gonna have your hamsters constantly being flung off unless you kind of DIY it, but why would you want to do that? <laughs> it devalues the wheel if you don't do it right and then when you go to sell it, it just looks like a, a mess. Uh, I've done that in the past where I've tried to DIY wheels and I'm like, N it looks so bad. No, and nobody would want it. <laughs> but this right here is so great for large Syrian hamsters or very large gerbils or multiple gerbils, which I do highly encourage if you guys have multiple gerbils to get bigger wheels or multiple wheels for your gerbils. Although it's very rare to see gerbils running at the same time. They can, they definitely can. So we typically like to use for, you know, pairs, at least 11 inch wheel if possible. But unfortunately for gerbils, that's the thing. It's very hard to find safe wheels for them without them chewing them up to death. And I used to actually provide wooden wheels to gerbils, but they completely chewed up the base. For whatever reason, the designer's like, we're doing everything wood. But sir, they chew it. No, we are doing everything wood. It's gonna be classic. It's gonna be bold. It's gonna be nature. But, but sir, the longevity of the wheel. Silence, fool. I do what I like. <laughs> but this right here, look, it, it has wood. It has at least what looks to be wood. It's probably not full on wood, but at least it gives it the simplistic design of, hey, you don't see the plastic because it's transparent, but there is, this beautiful simplistic nature-like feel to it where it doesn't look like it's industrial at all. So this is great, highly recommend it. And yes, it's safe for gerbils because of that thick plastic that you see here, which is actually a different, now that I'm feeling with my fingers, it's, it's definitely a different plastic. And let's see, hmm, I don't exactly know the words for the type of plastic, but it's definitely different plastic. So thank you guys so much. If you enjoyed the video, hit like to show your support. Comment down below with whatever you liked today and tell me if you have the Night Angel wheels or which wheel you like or which wheel you wish to try out. Let me know in the comments down below. I love thy feedback. I see it, I read it. I might not always respond to it, but I see you guys. <laughs> Ow, my rib cage. I have this problem where like, if I, if I twist it in a certain way, this one area kind of pops a little bit. It's due to exercising, I swear. I really do swear. But anyways, thank you guys so much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.